Puck cleared to the center ice. Griffin's up Ooh. with it, though. Great pass. Here's Mantha weaving in. Backhand shot, and Leighton stopped him. Rebound, score! Andy Neely! What a pass by Anthony Mantha! And the Griffins at 3.43 on period number two. Will break a score is tied and lead the game one to nothing. Now dropped it back to the line to Zangerly. Right back to Russo. Works in a couple of strides. High slot he goes to the right point. Shot score! That one tipped out in front by a Vintan Brady. And the Griffins get the goal and take a 2 nothing lead. Let, nice play behind his net. Now gives it away oh. and they score. Oh no. Oh, you don't see well that make mistakes like that very often. Oh, he boy. walked right. They got it back to the line. Here's a long shot that deflects high up oh, no. in front and the ice hog score from behind the net. A centering attempt there by Jake Dowell. Now Grand Rapids with a puck into the Rockford zone. Well that Leads it across to the right point to Russo. Shot, score! That one tipped out in front and slithers past Michael Layton and the Griffins come right back to regain the lead. I was just trying to move my feet the whole game. That was important, and by doing that, getting open, getting shots through, and just moving the puck. So, just kind of my game plan worked out. What's it mean for you guys to be able to win this game, especially coming off of a tough road trip? At Lake yeah, all wins are important now. We started out a little slow, so we're just hoping to build off of this. Were you guys pressing? Did you feel good coming into this game? Can you take us through that a little bit? Uh, I don't think we were pressing. You know, we've been getting a lot of scoring chances. Nothing's going in, so, you know, eventually we'll get the bounces, and I think that happened a little bit tonight. And, uh, we earned it, though. We worked hard, and that's what happened. I felt really good. Just all business right now. Um, something that Jeff Saleko and I talked about, and I think I mentioned it in the last interview. Um, just feeling it, uh, watching pucks. Rebound control is pretty good. Just making some big saves, and I think that's what we need, and guys are scoring now too, so it's good. I enjoyed every minute of uh, my ice time tonight, and uh, it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, I think your last game was October 30th or something like that, so it's been a long time. What was endurance like? What was it that you wanted to accomplish tonight? Uh, just wanted to uh, know, have fun and uh, skate a lot, uh, uh, maybe create some offense and uh, just help the team. But uh, uh, most of all, I just wanted uh, you know, to feel good on the ice. I was working really hard off the ice and uh, after every practice in Detroit to stay in the shape. So uh, I felt great tonight and uh, it's a good thing. You know, I was talking with, with Ryan Martin the same you know, you could come down here and make it. You could probably glide, and you're still going to go back up there. So, you know, when, when you come down here, what is what is your goal? I mean, what, what do you want to focus on? Yeah, I just want to show them that I can play. And uh, I had a tough uh, tough year last year, and didn't, I didn't play much, didn't create much on the ice. And I just want to come here and you know have a good ice time and show them that I can still play. Just work hard and uh, work my uh, uh, way back to the lineup in Detroit. Do you, do you think it was a case that you didn't get? an opportunity this year, or you just weren't playing well? I mean, uh, it's a tough league, you know. Uh, I was talking to Blaj, he told me I was playing good, but uh, we have a great team up there, so it's it's hard, you know, to get there. And uh, uh, just got to work hard and, like I said, work my way through. Was confidence lacking then? Did yeah, for sure, you know, especially last year, uh, I didn't have much confidence, so. Uh, Coming here and uh, have uh, have the puck on the stick uh, way more, you know, and create some offense is going to help me for sure. Yeah, it was a good win for us. I thought, uh, you know, early on in the game, the first four minutes, Rockford really came at us uh, strong there, and, and uh, Jared was really solid and got, got us through those first four minutes. But then after that, we settled in, and I thought we played uh, a real good hockey game. Were you pleased with uh, you know what you saw from from Erico tonight? Yeah, I was. You can see. You can see his uh, skill set with some of the plays he made tonight. Like he, uh, one time he came over and made a world-class play to Tangretti where he was all alone with the goalie and he just didn't finish. But uh, I like this game for a guy that hasn't played a whole lot. Um, there always is a bit of an adjustment period. You know, um, when you play your first game when you haven't played a lot. And, and the thing is that uh, I thought he handled himself fine. And you, you remember him from uh, 13, don't you? Yeah, he did, wasn't he the guy that scored the, he was. the game winner? Yeah, I told him thanks. To, Thanks this morning when he came in. <laughs> How's the atmosphere going with that? I mean, it seems like you guys, the energy level's a little, a little bit higher. It's, it's like night and day right now. Um, you know, we lost a tough one on Saturday, and you know, uh, we came to work on Monday, and 
from Tuesday, and I, I, I just liked the uh, mood of the room. I liked the atmosphere, and um, it was like that this morning in practice, and it, it felt different. And uh, and so hopefully this gives us a lot of confidence with our group here moving forward. But uh, but right now the mood's good because the winds have been far and few between. So you save it.